Hi, this is Peter from The Movable Chef. Today we're going to make some very traditional Turkish chicken kebabs. So these aren't just chunks of chicken strung together with cherry tomatoes and onions on a skewer. This has actually got a marinade to it with a little bit of Aleppo pepper, um, some dried mint, some thyme, salt and pepper, olive oil, tomato paste, and uh, some sweet peppers. Now the original recipe for this would have called for a sweet Turkish pepper paste, uh, which was really just bell peppers cooked ground up finely, and then actually spread in the sun to sun dry slightly until they're a consistency of a tomato paste. Um, that's very hard to find. I don't have any. Instead, we're going to use fire roasted bell peppers to give it that pepper flavor and, uh, and also to, to bulk out the marinade a little bit. So this is a, a marinade that comes together very quickly. In the uh, cup of uh, an immersion mixer or in a, in a small bowl, we want to uh, put in couple tablespoons worth of red bell pepper. So yeah, that's probably enough. We want to add in a couple teaspoons of dry thyme. A very large quantity of mint. This is almost four tablespoons of mint that I'm using for two pounds of chicken. Uh, we have uh, about a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of black pepper. I'll add in, that's one teaspoon two teaspoons of salt. We need about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of tomato paste, which I'll just squeeze uh, straight from the tube here. Since I'm just using a little bit, I don't want to open a can, so I'll just use the double concentrated, uh, which will also offset some of the extra moisture from the peppers. And, uh, and then Aleppo pepper. I happen to have Aleppo pepper. It's a really unique pepper uh, from Syria, the city of Aleppo. And it's a sun-dried, semi-hot red pepper. That's not as hot as a regular red pepper flake or pepperoncino, uh, but it uh, has a little of a smoky flavor to it from being sun-dried. It's kind of like a cross between a sun-dried tomato and a, and a, and a red chili flake. Um, if you don't have this, that's okay. Use maybe a teaspoon or two of uh, red pepper flakes, uh, just red chili pepper flakes, um, and maybe some smoked paprika or some chipotle. So we need to give it just a little smoky flavor, um, and that will work out just fine. And then we're going to add in about a cup of olive oil. And I'm going to hit all this with the immersion blender just to grind up those peppers and, and mix everything together. Okay, so we finished blending all of this. I want to make sure I get all of the marinade off of this onto the, the bowl of chicken. This is about two and a half pounds of, of chicken thighs, boneless skin of chicken thighs. that have just been cut into about one inch cubes. Um, don't have to be exact, but you do want, do want to be pretty consistent because we'll be grilling this and we want everything to take about the same length of time to cook. So this is gonna be a really thick marinade and um, uh, because it's in, gonna be grilled on the chicken on the grill, and, uh, and add a lot of flavor, uh, actually cooking to the chicken and, and, and grilling and, and condensing uh, or, or, or enhancing those flavors uh, when it's grilled. So we're gonna mix this up and then you can either cover the bowl tightly or put it in a Ziploc bag and refrigerate it for a couple hours. Alternatively, you could let it sit out for about half an hour, um, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bag refrigerate it for a couple hours, and then come back and, and grill it a little bit later on. There we go. And we'll check back on this in a couple hours and do some grilling. So now that the chickens had a couple of hours to rest and absorb those flavors, we're just going to thread them onto skewers. And uh, what we really want to do is create a sort of a column of meat of pretty uniform density. So these will get threaded on in about um, I seem to be mostly doing them horizontally or flat. Um, if they need to loop over, that's fine too. But what you really want is just a, a pretty consistent block of meat on the skewer so that it cooks at about the same time, whether it's at the top, bottom, or middle. And we're just going to thread this chicken on and keep repeating this process for each additional skewer until we have uh, gone through all of that uh, to two and a half pounds of chicken that we've got. And uh, it should look something about like this for a given skewer. Depending on the size of your grill, 
and uh, how much you want a portion to be. You can vary this some, but I'll probably do something about like that um, and, and grill a number of skewers of, of about that size. I'll go ahead and finish these off and we'll take them out to the grill. So for the final step in our kebabs, we're going to get the grill started with a chimney and I'm using uh, natural lump charcoal. Uh, you don't have to, I prefer to use it whenever I can. Uh, for kebabs, briquettes would work just fine. And we're gonna light this around. And this will take about five to 10 minutes to thoroughly light those, uh, those lump charcoal chunks. And then we can just dump it out and grill our kebabs. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and flames are shooting out of the top of the chimney, which means it's just about time to dump the coals and get ready to grill our kebabs. The nice thing about the natural lump charcoal is that you can grill on it as soon as you dump it out. You don't have to wait for it to burn off any of the chemical flavors or anything. Um, but that doesn't mean you necessarily want to. I mean, we want this to be hot, but um, it, we, we want the kebabs to take about 15 minutes to cook. So I might let this come down just a little bit in temperature and you close the side vents to about hmm, maybe halfway on each side. We'll see how that works. And then of course we want to put the grid on and let that start burning off so we can clean it. That is still pretty hot. Let's uh, use this tool to get the grill set. There we go. Now we'll let this uh, grill come up to temperature the grid come up to temperature and uh, then we'll clean it off. Okay, we have a hot clean grill now and uh, these are our chicken kebabs. And uh, we're just gonna lay these on. Now these should take about 15 minutes, which means since there's, imagine there's four sides to these, about four minutes on each side. And that should be just about right. You don't want to crowd them. If they won't all fit, uh, then just do another one in the next batch. I'm just going to put four on right now. And let me see if I can scoot this one over a little bit. Yeah, I can make this work. We'll go ahead and do all, all five of them at once. There we go. You just don't want them touching. You want uh, to leave just enough room so that the edges don't steam, that they still grill. And in about four minutes, I'll turn these. I'll turn them on all four sides and then they'll be done. After the first turn, be aware if the center is cooking a lot faster than the sides and be prepared to swap them around. Move the sides to the middle, the middle out to the edges uh, and move them around as you need to try and get even cooking across all the kebabs. Um, or just let the middle ones cook faster and pull them off. That's the nice thing about kebabs is that they're sort of individual units. So um, just keep an eye on these. Uh, these have been on for about five minutes now and have about 10 minutes to go. So these have been on here about 13, 14 minutes. So it's time to start checking for done, which with kebabs, you can't exactly use a thermometer. You certainly can't do it by touch, uh, but what you can do is if you use your tongs and insert them between two pieces and use them to spread those pieces out, you can get a real good look at the middle of the chicken. This is opaque but I'm guessing that the family would be happier if I let it go a couple more minutes. Another trick for grilling is that if you see something is pretty much done and you don't want to get any more heat, set on top of a couple other pieces. It takes it off the direct heat, lets the other two continue to cook, um, and keeps everything warm. It's a, a good way to, to balance cooking times with things like uh, kebabs, but also with anything else, chicken legs, burgers, you can do it with almost anything. All right, these have been on for a little bit over 15 minutes and I think they look done. Got a nice color to them, that great combination of crispy bits and, uh, and, um, and non-crispy bits, if you will, they're all done, but you know, some are charred and some aren't. And we're just gonna pull these off to a clean plate and take them to the table. So this has been the recipe for uh, a Turkish style chicken kebab. The recipe, the ingredients list, the amounts are all available. 
at themovableshef.com. Thanks a lot.